For this video, I wanted to show how to make a runway app that uses input to generate images. So I can type description here and I get um, an automatically generated image and I can type whatever I want. Beautiful. So how do we build this? Well, first thing we need is runway. Runway is an application that makes it really easy to generate uh, to, or to use neural networks. This is the website. You can sign up for an account, download the software, and you'll end up with something like this. And here what you can do is you can create a workspace that contains a model. So I'm going to first browse for a model, click on model, search for attention again, which is the model that I want. And this is a model that generates images based on text, which is insane. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this to my workspace. And now uh, I have a bunch of workspaces. So if you don't have a workspace yet, it's going to create one. But here I want to use learn more, add to workspace, and then create a new workspace. And here I can give this one a name, um, image to text. Sorry, text to image. That's what it's doing, create. And as you can see, there's a bunch of questions that it's going to ask. It's going to ask, where does the input come from? Where does, what do you want to input? I'm just going to choose text here to explore. And here I can choose the output. Now I can choose between whether I want to run remotely, that is on the servers of Runway, or whether I run, run to run locally. In that case, I need an extra piece of software, which is called Docker, which I'll explain in another video. But here I just want to run remotely and press run remotely. That's going to run or start this model in the cloud and then generate something on that model. Now I need to type something here. And that's going to output that model. As you can see, it's pretty quick. Now, this is nice and it works really well within Runway. But now the question is, how do you get that into a different piece of software? And that's where the network tab comes in. So here in the network tab, we have two options. And the option that I'm going to explore here in this video is using the JavaScript option, which is the local option. So we're now just making something that works only on this machine, which is good if you're doing performance. But if you want to do something that's available to others, you probably want to use a hosted model, which I'll explain later. So here, what I want to do is basically call this piece of JavaScript code and then out of there comes an image that I can take into my program. I'm trying to explain everything from scratch, so I'm going to also start a new project from scratch. And for that, I'm going to use Visual Studio Code, my text editor. And here I'm going to create a new folder and I'll do it by opening a folder and here making a new blank folder. Let's call this text to image. I'm going to select that folder. And as you can see, there's nothing in there. So I'm going to make a new file in next.html and that's going to be my primary file. This is basically the only file that I want. Here, I'm going to type exclamation mark, and that allows me to get these abbreviations here from Emmet, which is basically a way to set up your basic page. So I don't have to type everything, I just type exclamation mark, enter, or tab to get that basic here. Here, I'll change the document title to say, text to image gallery. And here in body, I'm going to foresee a couple of things that I want. First off, let's try just previewing this here. So here I'm going to write in h4. h4 is just a header, text to image gallery. And now what I can do here is go to extensions and install the extension that's called live server. As you can see, I've already installed, but if you don't have it, just go to this uh, extensions icon, type live server, then click install. Once that's installed, what you can do here is go to view, command palette, and then type live server to say open with live server. What that's going to do is open a browser that's going to view the document that I have open. Whenever I make a change in that document in index.html, for example, change this to h1 and press save, you can see that it changes here, which is really nice. I'm going to do only the tiniest bit of styling just to get something going. So I'm going to turn off the margins. Oh, so first select the body, 
turn of the margins, city font, and set a background color. And then also just set a text color. So that's a bit better. I don't want, what I want to do is basically make a form where I can type my description and then inside of that, once I, once I press enter, I actually get an image and that image gets appended to a gallery. So to make that form, what I'm going to do is make a diff. Let's call this caption form. This is where all my captions, where I will type my caption, my image caption. Let's put that H1 inside there. Then also make an input ID with the name caption with a placeholder saying um, type uh, caption. So that's my input. And then I want a button, which I will get, call the generate button. If I click that, it's going to call a method, which I don't have yet, generate. And here it's going to say generate. So that button, button goes next, next to the other one. I'll close the diff. I think I'll close the diff. No, doesn't want to. Oh, wait. Make sure all my tags are properly closed. And here in the caption form, I'm just going to add a little bit of signing. Again, not too much. Make sure that everything's centered. Make it 800 pixels wide, max. Give it a background, padding, border. All of these are optional, but it's just a way to make everything look at least a tiny bit nicer. And then also what we need is a place for our images to be. So after our caption form, we're going to make another diff called results. And we know that this is going to be a grid of images. So I'm going to style that already, even though we ha don't have any images yet. Also set a max width. Here what I'm going to do is make a grid of four um, items each taking up the full width of that size and then making a gap as well so they don't appear next to each other. Again, I don't see any images because they're not there. Okay, and now for the script, so we'll add a script tag here and the script is basically going to say what we want to generate. And basically here what we're going to do is take whatever we had in runway and go with that. So we'll copy that, go back to our index say function generate because that's the name of the function that we gave and we paste that in now i have another um, extension which is called prettier which is very useful um, that's going to automatically format my code uh, and then there is also in the preferences which i always forget where they are um, i can also select the option to automatically format everything i'm completely lost here but if i save yes you see auto or to formatting is enabled so i can see here there's an option again format document again that's from view command palette now format document now there are a couple of things that need to change and this is the most important thing this is the caption itself this is what we get from our um, input field so to get that caption what we're going to do is make a variable and then select the id caption so hashtag caption and get the value so basically this is the input of what we typed and then this can re be replaced with caption so the input is now not the string string which is not very useful but it's the actual caption that we typed then we fetch this and then we get the response and out come the results here it might make sense to log the results just to see if everything's working so that was a lot of code to type so let's see if that works. If we're in our browser, what we can do is do inspect element and actually see if we have any errors. If we would have errors, they would appear here and we also show the line number so we know at what point we make a mistake. For example, if we forget a bracket here, it's going to say uh, syntax error, so there's something wrong 
around line 43. And it's either on this line, 43, but as you can see, it's either this line or the line above. So here's the, the mistake. I fix it and it auto reloads. So let's try something. And nothing specifically happens. And that's because we want to add one more thing, which is to call the generate function, not just when we click the button, but also when we press the enter key. But let's first click the button. Let's see if that works. So it's, you see it's passing on the query, which is good. And then it says failed here, which is not good. Can we see what the problem is? Let's go back to runway. Oh, it stopped. So we have to run that model again. As you can see, if it doesn't get any input, it just stops running. Again, hosted models allow you to overwrite that. So we'll start that. Now I click Generate. And now, as you can see, what you get back here is data, image, JPEG, base 64, blah, blah, blah. And then it's a long line of text. This is actually our image. As you can see, here is the image in Runway. So Runway shows the image as well. Um, and then what we want to do here with that result is we want to make a image element. And the way we do that is using create element on the document. That's going to create a new image. And we set the source of that image to the result. So this thing is actually an image source. It's like a URL for the image. It's like a JPEG file. And then we are going to select our results thing. Remember, that's the empty grid here that we've made. And we're going to prepend an image. We can also append, but if we prepend the first image or the last image, it's going to appear first, which is useful. So now if we save and we type something here, two boats, we press generate, we should see our image here. We also see this long line of text, which is fine. Let's try something else. Looks yummy. And then finally, what I want to do here with the generate is add a event listener to the window. So whenever we, so we're listening for a key down, whenever we're pressing a key, specifically the enter key, so if the key equals enter, then we're also going to call this generate function. And that allows us to go here and then type. Um, our description. So that's it. We have created a very simple image gallery that gets automatically populated with images generated by machine learning through Runway. In the next video, I'm going to show you how you can deploy this using a hosted model.